welcome back to another video at the sawmill. As you can see, the sawmill shed is empty, but I'm about to move the sawmill in here. So I'm going to show you guys how to break down the Norwood HD36 sawmill. This is the old version of the sawmill. So I'm going to show you how to break it down and get it ready to move. So first of all, I like to use impact drivers to speed up the process. So I've got a 9 16 inch on an impact driver and I've got a 3 quarter inch on a big impact wrench and I'm going to use those to break down the sawmill and get it ready to transport. So the first thing we're going to do is roll the mill back to where the saw carriage is right above the wheels. Next we're going to take our 9 16 inch socket and loosen these nuts. This is what holds the carriage in place while it's being transported. Slide it into place like that. And tighten up the nuts. Let me go ahead and do that on both sides. Now the carriage is fixed in place and ready for transporting. Next we're going to come into the two center jack supports. We'll take the jack handle and turn it in as far as it will go. Next we take our three quarter inch driver and loosen this set screw. Then we'll pull this jack all the way up and tighten that down. I'm going to do the two middle ones in front of the wheels first and the two middle ones behind the wheels. As you can see here, I've got the two foot extension on here and that would block the lights. But since we're not transporting it down the highway, I'm just gonna leave that on because I'm just putting it over into my sawmill shed. So we can just leave that on for now. And then last of all, we're going to take the last two jacks on the far end of the mill and we're going to leave the front two jacks on for now. Now if you don't have the tongue inserted already, you can do that next. There's a big old pin right there that it slides into, right there, and it takes a two inch ball, I've got the ball here on the tractor, Just repeat the process with the front two jacks. One final step is to install the fenders. There's a pin that goes underneath it like that. You'd want to make sure to attach the safety chains and the wiring for the lights. But since we're not going far, all we have to do is just make sure the ball is locked in place. Do a walk around, make sure everything is good to go. If you still have the old manual log clamps, you want to make sure that those are in their raised position. sawmill in the shed and I'm just going to temporarily unhook it for tonight because it's getting late and so 
I'll finish it up in the morning and get it set where I want it.